crafty family it's me and today I've got something cool to show you I kind of touched on this on my other video I can't remember the name of it it's like I don't know what it was like the random video with um, all kinds of stuff I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head because you know I'm a dingbat um, the thermal paper where I talked about the thermal paper, the receipt paper, basically, um, that you get nowadays. You know, this is here. You get them from post offices and from Walmart, even your bank receipts. They all are on thermal paper now. Lowe's, Lowe's, Lowe's. We got a Lowe's a lot, apparently. <laughs> Lowe's and Walgreens and Bank of America. So basically, this is thermal paper, what they use. And they use a heat, it, 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 it's heat that causes the, the stuff to come up on the receipt um, instead of ink. And I guess it's cheaper, it saves ink. And you can also buy thermal paper in 8.5 by 11 sheets. And it's not very expensive, um, considering. So I'm going to show you some things that you can do with thermal paper. That's a lot of fun. So first things first, I'm going to show you something I made. And I'm not going to show you how to do this because we already did this. But this flower I made with thermal paper. And um, you might think, well, you just painted it. Well, kind of. I did a little bit, but I'll show you what else I did to it. I'll show you kind of how it got to this, you know, how it got kind of this cool mottled color to it. Um, because, yes, I painted it, but some of this is from heating it. It gave it, a, you know, like a marble color effect or, you know, but how cool is that flower? I think it came out awesome. So, you know, I, I looked online. There's not much things showing you anything to do with receipts and everybody gets them like every day. So you might as well hold on to them and have something to do with them because trust me, there's a lot of fun things to do with, with receipts now. Okay. So, here's what I discovered about receipt paper. If you color it and then heat it, it looks badass, but you got to be careful how you color it. So, here's three different examples. I used ink, took an ink pad and just rubbed it like up here on this top area. This was just straight paint, like opaque, just regular straight out of the bottle paint. You don't want to do that because then when you heat it, it, you don't get the black coming through. But here, down here, I watered it down and look how cool it looks. So it goes from, you could do that or you can do the watered down paint or watercolor, either one. And you get this badass effect and I absolutely love it and it's so cool. So I'm going to show you real quick how that works. Move some of this out of the way. I'll take this Walgreens receipt. And what we'll do is we'll take a paintbrush and I will take some of this awesome turquoise color and put it on my craft mat. And I'm going to, I know this water is very pink, but it won't affect anything. I'm going to take a lot of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, uh, it's probably not watered down enough. It needs to. You need to be able to see a little bit through it. You don't want it to be so opaque. But I forgot how good quality this Deco Arts Traditions paint is. You got to add a lot of water. So you want it to be, you know, transparent. You don't want it to be um, opaque. You want to be able to see the receipt underneath of it. And you want to leave some white areas, just, just some white areas, okay? So I'm going to do, since I have a lot of paint over here, I'm going to do another one. There's a Lowe's receipt. I'm going to uncrinkle it. And these are just from, like, ages ago. And what's... Um, another thing too, if you're going to be using it in a flower, like the flower I showed you, take this color and also do the backside so that you have a, you know, both covered, colored on both sides. And, you know, depending on what projects you're doing, you know, that's what you're going to want to do because 
of course, some of the backside of the flower shows. So you definitely want to, you know, do both sides so that you can, you know, use it in different projects. So that's good enough for now. And I will just take this and put it onto this paper here. That's leftover flower petals from when I did the flower. But I love that. And I definitely plan on making more flowers with the receipt paper because it comes out so cool. I have too much crap on my desk right now. It's crazy. I don't know if any of you heard um, Lady Gaga did the national anthem. And oh my God, did she do a great job. She's an amazing, amazing woman. Um, I have followed her since the beginning. She is my favorite singer. I've seen her in concert and it was the best concert I think I've seen in my life. Um, right up there, Garth Brooks is another one of my favorites and I've seen him like 14 times in concert. Um, but Lady Gaga is amazing. Her voice is just amazing. And on top of it, she is an extremely intelligent woman. She has, you know, college degrees and she, um, um, she... What was I going to say? She, like, speaks seven languages fluently. She's extremely intelligent. If you've ever heard her speak in an interview, you'd be extremely impressed because she's a very, very smart lady. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I just thought she was absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's it's absolutely incredible. Her, her rendition of it, it's beautiful. Okay, so once you got it painted and, you know not completely painted but some black showing through then you're going to take your heat gun and just watch what happens cool that's just badass it gives you this really cool effect and you could do it as light as you know as little or as uh like in other words let's see if i can do it lighter where you just don't go over it you just go over it very little bit and you leave it kind of the difference you can get like a little bit um, different results but isn't that cool so now you can run this through your die cutting machine or you can use this you know as collage pieces you can punch things out of it like um, I have these little punches here and I can go through and you know make myself some cute little flowers with it Which is really cool. And then I can use the other one and punch some more. Sorry, I'm like fumble fingers today. This one doesn't like me very much. This punch. I don't know why. You could take them and put them together, like here. Let me 
flip them over. And take like, you know, and put them together and have little mini flowers. You could put a layer a couple of them and kind of play with their little, you know, petals and stuff. Or just use them just like this and paste them into your collaging, which I plan on doing that. I'm going to get my journal. I don't know where it is. Here it is. Underneath of all my crap. I've got so much going on right now. Holy crap. So we can do something like that in my journal. I just find it fascinating. Is that too busy? Yeah. Let me see. Where's one of the... There we go. I'll do it on that. We'll take some of these. And I will use this one. I'm going to get my clip so that I can clip this. So it'll stop being a pest. Like that. Get some of the decoupage. Hey now. Do I have to get another one? Get some decoupage glue and put these little suckers down. I think they look awesome. I think they're very cute, but that's what you can do, and I find it fascinating to be able to. And you never know kind of what it's going to look like um, because every time you do it, it looks different. So it's kind of groovy. Groovy, I tell you. So I hope you guys will try this and, you know, let me know what you come up with when you make it. Like, what are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it for punching things out or die cutting or just using as collage pieces and, you know, ripping it up and putting it in your journals? You know, that would be cool. You can just shred it. Like, I saved the um, thing that I cut the flower pieces out because I want to also make other flowers. And be able to punch this out and then also use it just to rip it up and um, and collage with. I think it comes out really cool. And it's just a new way to use something that you have that you you know you get an abundance of during the week is receipts. It's just a new way to, you know, use it in your junk journals. You can, you know, glue it down and then heat it because it'll work that way too as long as you don't put like thick and thick, thick, thick layers of glue over it. But if you just, you know, regular layer of glue and you, you can heat it after it's already glued, which is awesome. So that's a, that's a cool idea. I'll put some of these down. Put some paint. These are my two favorite colors, pink and like teal. I put too much glue. So it's definitely a cool idea. I think. But yeah, definitely. I know you guys are creative, so. What other things can this be used for? I want some ideas. I want to hear what you guys think. Or what do you want to see me do with it? Is there anything you can think of that you'd want to see me do a video on? You know? I think that could be fun to come up with ideas. I like this. This is coming out so cute. A little flower page. That'll be my flower page. And I'll go back with some stickles over top of that. Over top of some of the flowers. With some stickles. Now 
And then I also, remember on the last video with the um, CD tiles and when I used the tape to get the, the film off the CD, I had the iridescent stuff on the back of the tape while well, I sat and punched out flowers with that as well. And so how cute is that? I've got all kinds of flowers here, the same flower, and they're all holographic because that's, I mean, so you really get a lot out of those, making those CDs because you got the tiles and then you got this, you can punch out little flowers. So we can throw some of them in here as well and just put them wherever we want. I'll just put some random holographic flowers. So yeah, we got a lot of good techniques this week, didn't we? We came up with some good stuff together. So yeah, we definitely need to come up with some more ideas and fun things to do with that thermal paper, receipt paper, however you want to call it. Um, because I'm definitely going to be doing some more stuff. Absolutely. Definitely. I'm planning on ordering eventually when I have the money. I would like to order a, because you get like, I think it's like a hundred sheets. They have them in like packs of a hundred. So I want to order some eventually and um, obviously make some badass stuff with it. I think it'll be fun because I mean can you imagine making a card making a full-on card with you know this effect you know on it you know cuz I don't know it would just be cool okay I think we need another one here but it should be I think a pink one I may have to punch one out okay I think I'm gonna dry that really quick and we'll see how it looks. Okay, when you do the holographic, the holographic thing from the back of a CD, if you put it on tape and you punch it out and you glue it onto something, try not to get the Mod Podge over the top of it because it kind of makes it look cloudy. I don't think it dries quite as clear. So that's just a thought. Um, so if you glue it down on something, Try not to get Mod Podge or glue on the top of it because it's going to make it look cloudy. Luckily, I can pretty much wipe it off. But yeah, that's cute. I like that. It came out cute. Another journal page. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today. I just thought I would show you that with the receipt paper. And I hope you guys try it. Gather up some receipts because... You know, even just taking it and, let's say, it's not dry completely. Well, we'll do it on this side. Um, well, actually, I want to save that for painting because it's a watercolor. We can, let's see. Well, here, on this blue piece right here, you could take your pieces and just you know rip it and make what I do with my paintbrush um, there we go and just make uh you know collage it into things Don't waste what you cut out, like your flowers and stuff. Definitely don't waste that. Because it's good collage paper. Put it into your... Do you guys have like a container that has like little bits? Um, I used to. And I actually um, ended up getting rid of it. I don't know why I got rid of it. But I got rid of it. I guess because the pieces that were left in it, that in there, weren't the greatest, I didn't think. So I kind of got rid of it. But I'm going to make another one and I'm going to start with these pieces because they're awesome. And you can just collage them in 
This way you don't waste anything. And if you do them, if you do enough of them, and I'm just going to do these two colors since those are the ones I have. But like I said, you can make this, you know, when you go to make your thermal paper, you know, technique, you can, um, oh, that looks cool. You can obviously make it any color you want. You don't have to make it these colors, obviously. Just keep in mind that it, obviously the only cover, I keep saying obviously for some reason, the only color this is, can be is either white like this or the black that it's going to become when you heat it. So, you know, if you do yellow, it's going to be yellow and black. If you do pink, it's going to be pink and black, like stuff like that. So um, just keep that in mind so that you're, you know, to plan for your project or whatever. Because, I don't know, I guess that's pretty obvious. I don't know why I had to say it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys realize that it only turns black. It doesn't turn any other color, no matter how much you heat it. I mean, it kind of can start off brown if you're really careful, but it doesn't, it's hard to get it to stay brown instead of black because it, the heat from it just spreads so quickly. Here, I zoomed in. I, I stopped the camera and I did a little bit so that it wouldn't be so lengthy, but because I'm sure you, you know, get bored of watching me tape or glue down paper. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I better stop it for a few minutes and do some. But then I zoomed it in, so hopefully I'll stay on frame so you can see my collaging goodness. I don't want that there. I wanted a pink piece there. Because I'm just trying to fill it up with pieces with colorful beautimous pieces I like all these misshapen weird pieces they're groovy groovy I'm just adding so much glue. It's like a job. I love gluing, so the more messy, nasty glue, the better for me. Because I just love glue. Well, that went right into the center, didn't it, there? It's okay. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. I love messy gluing. Who else likes messy gluing? Do you guys like that kind of, I don't know, messy, gluey page with lots of layers? I love it. I loves it. And what I'll do is, actually, I'll come back when it's dry. This way you can see it when it's all dry and trimmed up. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have some quotes that I printed out. This one says, a negative mind will never give you a positive life. And this one says, remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. And what I'm going to do is cut out each one of these words and this one's going to go on this page and the other one will go on obviously the other page with all the flowers that we did. I'm going to ink them up and and then stick them down and maybe do a little doodling around the edges. color I want to ink them with. Let's see, maybe I will ink them with like a bright green. I think that would be kind of cool. Let's see. Bright green against this should be pretty cool. I 
Yeah, I like it. A fun color to add to the fun background. I did it in all different fonts. Like each word is in a totally different font. Some of them are in different sizes and such. I like that. Okay, Mod Podge. Brush in my dirty water. <laughs> okay, let's just stick this down. There we go. That is for that page. And I'm going to dry that for a second. And then we'll do the other page. Okay, now we will do this page. Back in water a second while I cut these out. And this time I'm going to spray them because I don't want the font to run because it's printed off of my printer. Okay, so I'm going to put these on this piece of paper here. Attempt to spray them over my garbage can and hope that they don't fall into my garbage can because the spray will kind of like <laughs> shoot them across the room. Hold on. Okay, I sprayed them off camera while it was doing its thing. Um, Negative mind will never give you a positive life. Okay, so now I can safely get these wet without it running. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to dry those. So there's the two pages. We got this one and this one. I think they both came out cute. Actually, I'm going to do a little a doodling. A doodle doodle. I think I'll use um, I have both of these pens. They pretty much have the same thickness. Let's try this. I'm just going to do sloppy doodling. I need some of those pens. I want to get a Stabilo, which I never even knew what that was until most recently. But I need some good pens to doodle with because this is really all I have besides a, like a fat black Sharpie. And then on this one, I want to do a little more smudging. Actually, you know what? Do I have a black gelato candy? I have this one. That's like a brown color. That should be fine. I'll use this. Because then I can smudge it a little. There we go. Maybe I'll do a little on the outside. Give it a little bit of a frame. That looks cool. Maybe on this one, I can do like a little swirly doodle. I'm good at doodling, just not when I need to. Like, I'm good at just sitting there and doing things, but... Plus, this page is very bumpy, so it's like hard to write over. That's okay. It don't matter. 
Okay, good enough. That will be my final my final answer. <laughs> so that's that page. Oh, I forgot to put a swirly in the middle of this flower. There we go. That's that page, and then that is that page. So those are my two little pages. I still might go back and add some glitter, some stickles somewhere on one of these pages. Probably not both of them, maybe on this one. A couple of the flowers I'll stickle or something. But other than that, that is it. So I showed you how to do, there's the one we did where we first figured out that the receipts do that. Um, so yeah, so we showed you how to do this. I hope you guys will do it. Um, I got this wet, <laughs> apparently. I hope you guys will do it. Please let me know in the comments below what are some things or ideas that you can do with your old receipts in doing this method um, with uh, burning the thermal blackening. I don't know what it's called. It's called blackening the thermal paper. Um, so yeah, let me know what are some techniques that you can think of that might be good with this. And I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Make sure you do what you love and love what you do. And be nice to everybody. Unless they're an ass. Then kick them in the ass. I'm just kidding. <laughs> have a good week, guys. Love you. Bye.